Hey best friends, I'm back! I told you guys it wouldn't be that long before you seen me again. And today's video is all about what? It's that classic piece that everyone needs in their closet. The leather jacket. Now, with so many styles, designs, shapes, textures, colors, oh my, shopping for the perfect leather jacket can be quite overwhelming. But don't worry, I got you. In this video, I will be going over the top three styles of leather jacket everyone should own or have in their wardrobes. And trust me, you can believe me, I've tested out these jackets and plus, I'm not sponsored. Yet. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first leather jacket I want to talk about is... I think these are drumsticks, but yeah. Starting with piece number three, which is a military double-breasted style leather jacket. Now, the one I have on is by Marc Jacobs. I purchased this about 10 years ago, and one of the reasons I fell in love with this one in particular is because of the weight. It's actually about five pounds. Um, I was living in Chicago when I bought this, so... It was perfect. If it gets really, really cold, I was just able to throw a sweater underneath, throw a hoodie, and I was fine. It has worn beautifully because the leather is so heavy. It's really, really durable. So for 10 years of uh, wear and tear, this jacket has held up. I'm missing a few buttons, but that's come to be expected like after 10 years. Other than that, you can wear this jacket with everything. Um, I wouldn't recommend wearing something like a heavy leather in the summertime. Take your drunk ass leather wearing in the summertime, need a shave, stinky ass home. I've tried a couple of times and yeah, it just wasn't, it was a sweaty mess. It wasn't good for your boy. But all in all, this style works with anything. You can throw it on with a pair of jeans, throw it on over a dress, throw it on with shorts. If you've been paying close attention to the runway shows, you will see that Balmain, um, Saint Laurent the dude does a lot of um, military jackets, and Burberry, you see the way that they pair it. So you could pretty much wear this type of style leather jacket with anything and you'll have it in your wardrobe forever without it going out of style. Now it's beeping out of the blue. Like all day, it's been quiet, it's been peaceful, and now I gotta deal with this. Oh, it finally stopped. So number two is this lightweight leather funnel neck jacket. Now I like this style of leather jacket for probably three reasons. One, it's in the name. It's extremely lightweight. It feels as if I'm wearing a t-shirt. Two, it's an all year round jacket. More so than the first one. This one you can wear in the summertime again with like a t-shirt. In the wintertime you can use it to insulate the heat in by putting it under your coat or another jacket, even under a sweater. The third reason I like this jacket is it's a travel piece, meaning you can pack this jacket. It's pretty simple. It like folds down like in the most unbelievable way. See if I can do that real quick here. Like you literally just go bam, 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 and it folds as if, again, it's like a t-shirt. So it saves you a lot of space on packing, and it's a great piece to carry on a plane in case you get cold on plane rides. Um, piece number one. I had to go back over there and get it. Before um, I go to piece number one, I should say this one is by Rick Horns, and it is pretty expensive. <laughs> his coins but I have seen other companies make versions of this this is Rick's on Rick Owens classic funnel neck leather jacket I believe you can find something similar by Vince I do have one by Vince that they did about 10 years ago I don't know if they still doing them they might and they make a great quality one and there theirs are about 1100 I've seen some by Iro and if you don't want to pay like a thousand or over try H&M or Zara now I would recommend going vintage shop and check your local vintage shops because you can find them for about maybe $60 and you'll probably get a better quality than you would get at Zara or H&M so you'll get more bang for your buck. <sighs> Finally. 
Piece number one is the classic, I call it the grease jacket. Now this jacket reminds me of the jacket John Travolta wore in the movie, the T-Bird leather jacket. What I love most about this jacket is one, it crops at my waist. I love the fact it crops there, it looks great with high waist jeans. Two, the industrial zippers, I love the hard metal against the leather, I think it really, really pops. But three, one of the, probably the main reason I love this jacket is the double um, snap neck collar. I think this is are an awesome addition to this leather jacket because of this reason alone. I love putting scarves on my neck um, and this jacket actually helped anchors the scarves in. And yeah, it's just a real, real cool piece. All right, guys, before my camera die, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks for visiting. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, this video literally has taken all day. I gave you guys three jackets with during three different times of the day morning noon night it's night now it's taking i don't know why it took so long to shoot this video i'm still getting my shit together anywho until next time love you and if you haven't checked out my latest last video please go do that right now mm -hmm.